Hey everybody, it's Darlene. Today I'm going to talk to you about food. My title is You Are What You Eat. How many of you know that food has become an addiction, whether it's intentional or not? Uh, big money is made on pushing various diets and in mass production of our foods, whether in season or out of season. Uh, there is lots of waste of food that's grown naturally, whether we're talking about plant-based food or animal-based food. And so over the next year, I'm going to have various uh, episodes on uh, topics referring to food and what I see as a problem. So today, um, just as an introduction, I'm going to give you some verses to think about from the Bible that pertain to food. And before I do that, I want to talk about what I see as the problem um, in general about food and we as humans. First thing is food was created for nourishment. What does that mean? It was created to provide to us the necessary things for growth, for health, and for us to be in good condition or wellness. And I will give you verses to back that up. Second thing is, what has happened is food has become a source of confusion and sin. Whether you look at it as going back to the very first sin, when we refer to Adam and Eve partaking of the forbidden fruit, or if you look at today, where food has become a source of our lack of self-control, of glutton, of being an idol to us. And why do I say that? If you look at people, especially in the United States and worldwide now, you will see that we are overgrown. We are not healthy um, because of what we are eating. And so that's why over the next year, I'm going to be delving more into the Bible to look at what it says about food. So today, the verses I want to give you, and they will be our base verses, and then we'll add on to them. So I have five of them, and I'm going to read them. They're going to be uh, given to you from the New King James Version. And the reason I want to read them is so that I can get them correctly um, given to you. Again, the reason I believe we as mankind suffer so much is because of lack of knowledge. And I think it's true that everything that we experience has already been in the Bible, so that's why I'm using that as my source. So first verse is coming from Genesis chapter 9, and it's verse 3, and it says, Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. I have given you all things, even as the green herbs. The second verse also comes from Genesis, and it's chapter 1, verse 29, and it says, And God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed. To you it shall be for food. The third verse is going to come from Psalms 145 chapter and verse 15, and it reads, The eyes of all look expectantly to you, referring to God, 
and you give them their food in due season. The fourth verse is coming from Acts chapter 10, verse 15, and it reads, And a voice spoke to him again the second time. What God has cleansed, you must not call common. And the last verse comes from Proverbs chapter 23, verse 2, and it reads, And put a knife to your throat if you are a man given to appetite. So I want you to think about these verses. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on selling you anything especially not telling you that one diet is better than another. Because the more I look at these verses, what it tells us is that all food that God created for us is good. The problem is, what have we done to the food once it has been created? Again, we have to look at additives, preservatives, uh, this modified way we grow things, um, hormones, antibiotics we give to animals. These are the reasons why our health is not where it should be. And unfortunately, people make money when we're not healthy. So let's delve further into why what we eat is making us unhealthy. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.